We're going to move now to the crisis in Ukraine and rising tensions between the U.S. and Russia after a Russian fighter jet buzzed a U.S. warship in the Black Sea. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Wright is tracking this all from Washington. Martha, this maneuver by the Russian fighter carries echoes of the Cold War. It certainly does, George. This was a Russian jet that screamed by a U.S. destroyer in the Black Sea, not just once, but 12 times over a 90-minute period. It came within about a 1,000 yards of the U.S. ship and was flying at just 500 feet above sea level. That is lower than the Washington Monument, so you can imagine that it made quite an impression. The crew of the destroyer warned the Russians to stay back, but clearly that did not happen, and there is little doubt that this was not some rogue crew, that in fact there was very likely coordination from someone in the Kremlin. Now, it wasn't armed, and it happened in international waters, but the U.S. is still calling it irresponsible and provocative. You also have to remember that for Russia, the Black Sea is kind of like a backyard swimming pool. They don't like having a U.S. ship in those waters that border Ukraine and Russia, and they certainly know that ship is monitoring things in Ukraine and elsewhere. Meantime, reports of Ukraine government forces moving in uh, on Russian protesters today, and that phone call between Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Obama last night, they seem to talk past each other. Uh, they did. The call was clearly tense. Russia blamed the Ukrainians for the unrest, and President Obama blamed the Russians.